When I train IFR students, I often have them incorporate an element into their approach briefs, asking, will this approach be flown as a precision or non-precision? The distinction is crucial. A non-precision approach, like a VOR, requires holding a step-down altitude until the final approach fix, then descending to any other step-downs, arriving at the minimum descent altitude, and executing a missed approach at a missed approach point. A precision approach like an ILS has us holding glide slope intercept altitude until picking up the glide slope, then following that down to a decision altitude, where we'll both decide whether to go missed or not, and then execute that missed if needed. This isn't the whole story though. There's a third type of approach, which doesn't fit neatly into the definitions of either precision or non-precision. Certain GPS approaches fall into this third category. The AIM Chapter 547A7 defines three types of instrument approach procedures. A precision approach is based on both course and glide path deviation information. An example given is the traditional ILS approach. An approach with vertical guidance, or APV, also uses both course and glide path deviation information, but doesn't have to meet the standards of what's called ICAO Annex 10. An example given is an LPV approach which we can fly on many WAS-equipped GPS units. The addition of these examples should clarify how an ILS and LPV approach fit into their respective categories, but each definition makes mention of these ICAO Annex 10 standards. What are these? Well, we look them up so you don't have to. ICAO, the International Civil Aviation Organization, publishes standards worldwide for member countries, which the U.S. is one of. The published definitions of precision approaches for Category 1, which is what our trainer aircraft will be flying, include approaches with decision heights both greater than 250 feet and down to 200 feet. Most LPV approaches do fit this restriction, and in fact the notes show that SBAS type approaches, which is synonymous with LPV approaches in the United States, are included in that definition of precision approaches. So it seems like there's a conflict between the FAA AIM, which explicitly defines an LPV approach as not being precision, but instead in its own category as an approach with vertical guidance, and the ICAO definition, which includes it as precision. Let's refer back to the AIM for more clarity. This is 1-1-18C9, which deals in general with WAS-enabled GPS, the kind we'd use on the LPV. If we have a WAS receiver, which we must if we're flying an LPV approach, we can plan to have an alternate airport where we fly an LPV approach, but only if we include in our planning that we'll fly the approach to the LNAV or circling minimum altitude, and that non-precision weather requirements will be used for planning. So let's say we want to use Cambridge as our alternate on an IFR flight plan. Cambridge only has GPS approaches, and runway 34 includes LPV minimums. We can only use Cambridge as an alternate if we have a WAS-enabled GPS on board, Otherwise, we'd have to use an airport with nav aids like ILS or VORs. We can only use this airport as the alternate if the weather forecast meets the non-precision requirements of at least 800 foot ceilings and two statute miles of visibility. When we're planning, we have to use the higher LNAV minimums of 480 feet. However, if we actually diverted to this field, shot the LPV approach, and confirmed that our WAS was working properly, we could go down to the LPV decision altitude of 286 feet. So this little paper chase exercise has given us this takeaway. LPV approaches can be thought of and flown as precision approaches in as much as we intercept the glide slope and make a decision at the DA, just like an ILS. When we brief an LPV approach and ask ourselves if we'll fly it like a precision or non-precision, we could prepare to fly it like it was a precision approach. This is despite the fact that for planning purposes, it's not a precision approach and we need to use non-precision alternate requirements when creating our flight plans.